So I hope you all have had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you all enjoyed the gifts you got and it's now time for me to present to you guys my top 10 best movies of 2018. Now this year's list was definitely very, very difficult to make. It was definitely a lot more difficult than my top 10 best movies of 2017 list from last year. I had to swap movies out from various places, so I was like, okay, this movie's gonna go there, this movie's gonna go there, I'm gonna cut that movie, I'm gonna cut that movie, it's like, ah, just lots of crap, just ugh. And keep in mind, I didn't see every movie that came out this year. So I didn't see Creed 2, I didn't see Green Book, I didn't see The Favorite, I didn't see 8th Grade, I didn't see Searchin', I didn't see Upgrade. If I did see those movies, would they have made my list? Honestly, it would have been either way. And keep in mind, this list is very subjective. This is not the actual best movies of 2018. These are just my opinion. These are my personal picks. So if you agree with my list, that's fine. And if you don't agree with my list, that's also fine. But as long as we can just respect our opinions, we're good. And there are actually two movies on this list I did not review. Enough talking, let's get right into it. These are my top 10 best movies of 2018. Avengers Infinity War. We finally came to the moment we've all been waiting for in the MCU, Infinity War. And boy did it deliver. Infinity War is one of Marvel's best movies of all time. It was amazing, it was fun, it was epic, it was satisfying, it was very emotional, and had Thanos, who is the MCU's best villain without a doubt. And if I did have at least one nitpick with Infinity War, and this goes for some of the other MCU movies as well, I think it focused a bit too much on humor. But other than that, I loved Infinity War, and I can't wait for Endgame in April. Black Klansman. Spike Lee once again knocked it out of the park with Black Klansman, and boy, was it fantastic. It had fantastic performances from John David Washington and Adam Driver, and it was very funny too. And it was such a crazy and intense true story that was portrayed so phenomenally well. And no other movie ending in 2018 left me more speechless than the ending to Black Klansman. A Star is Born. I remember when the trailer for Star is Born came out, and I remember watching it, and I was like, eh, I'm not on board with this. But I saw Star is Born, and I walked out of it absolutely loving it. Bradley Cooper did a phenomenal job directing it, and I hope he directs more movies in the future. And Lady Gaga gives the best performance I've seen from an actress all year long. And Star is Born also had a very emotional message about how corrupt the music business can be and how much it can change one person. Isle of Dogs. No other movie in 2018 was more beautiful, more unique, more creative, and more original than Isle of Dogs. The stop motion animation in Isle of Dogs is some of the most beautiful animation I've ever seen. And Wes Anderson, who is one of my favorite directors working today, once again killed it with this movie. And it also had a great cast too, like Bill Murray, Brian Cranston, Edward Norton, Jeff Goldblum. The list could go on, and I don't want to name everyone in the cast, or else this video will go on for like six hours. And if you guys miss Isle of Dogs in theaters, definitely check it out. If you're a fan of Wes Anderson, or just a fan of animation, in general, you will love it. Deadpool 2. This might sound like an unpopular opinion, but I thought Deadpool 2 was better than the first Deadpool. As much as I loved the first Deadpool, Deadpool 2 took everything that made the first movie work and made it even better. No other movie in 2018 made me laugh harder than Deadpool 2, and Ryan Reynolds once again crushed it as Deadpool. And not only was Deadpool 2 funny, but it was also very heartfelt. And Deadpool 2, I think, is one of the best sequels of all time. Alright guys, we finally made it this close. We finally made it to the top 5. So, 
What is it? What is what is my number five pick? Well, without further ado, here it is. Bohemian Rhapsody. Now I know critics were very divisive on this movie, but I'm sorry. I absolutely loved Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought it was excellent. As a fan of Queen's music, I thought this movie did a phenomenal job portraying the story of how they became the band we all know and love, and Rami Malek gave the best performance of the entire year as Freddie Mercury. If he doesn't get nominated for an Oscar, there's gonna be a riot. Mission Impossible Fallout. The Mission Impossible franchise has been around for over 20 years, and man, these movies just keep progressively getting better and better. Fallout is easily the best Mission Impossible movie, and it is the best action movie since Mad Max Fury Road. And Tom Cruise, the dude is over 50, and he's doing all these dangerous stunts for these movies. And the guy's still crushing it. He's practically immortal. Won't you be my neighbor? As someone who grew up with Mr. Rogers, this movie was so endearing and it was so delightful. This is the movie we need right now more than anything. Won't You Be My Neighbor was a phenomenal reminder of how much of a genuinely nice guy Fred Rogers was. And in a, in a world full of hatred and just disgusting things, we just need a break from all the disgusting things and just reflect on how much of a great guy Fred Rogers was. And it shows how one person can leave such an impactful act of kindness. And even if you guys didn't grow up with Mr. Rogers, I still highly recommend checking out Won't You Be My Neighbor. Paddington 2. Just like with Won't You Be My Neighbor, Paddington 2 was so endearing and it was so delightful. Man, I love these movies. I'll even go as far as to say, I think Paddington 2 is one of the best sequels ever made. And I love the first Paddington, but Paddington 2 took away the first movie work and it took it to a whole nother level. And of course, I have to talk about Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant gave one of the best performances of the entire year in Paddington 2. Alright guys, we finally made it. We finally made it to my number one pick. So, what is it? What is my number one pick? The movie that I had the most fun with, the movie that I will rewatch the most in the future. So, Without further ado, here it is. My number one favorite movie of 2018 is The Happy Time Murders. No, I'm kidding. Here is my actual pick. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Like I said, this list is subjective. In my opinion, Into the Spider-Verse is the best movie of 2018. No other movie was more fun and no other movie brought me more joy than Into the Spider-Verse. And it is also my favorite animated movie of the year. And as a fan of Spider-Man, I had a total blast with this movie. I can't wait to see what they do with Miles Morales in future movies to come. And it just did a phenomenal job acknowledging how much Spider-Man means to millions and millions of people. And not only is it a great superhero movie, but it's a great and well-made movie, period. And that is why, in my opinion, Into the Spider-Verse is the crown jewel of 2018 movies. So that's a wrap for my top 10 best movies of 2018. And like I said, this list was very difficult to make. So what are your top 10 best movies of the year in your opinion? Whatever they are, just comment below. And my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2019 video will be uploaded in a few days. I can't wait to get that out. So if you want to see more of my videos, just be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content.